up you guys it's Momo and welcome back to my channel uh, today I'm going to be doing another unboxing I found this on Mandarake and it's going to be the Zenitsu and Inosuke look up figure this is the version that came with the little cushions and I'm so glad I got to find it on Mandarake Mandarake because I found out about these figures a little too late. Um, I don't have Tanjiro, I don't have Nezuko, or I think there's one of Gyu as well. I don't have those, but luckily I have Tanjiro and Onosuke, or Zenitsu and Onosuke. Zenitsu is my favorite character, so I was more concerned about him. Um, and I really wanted the ones with the cushions because I think the cushions just make them look so much cuter. So I was able to find it on Mandarake, thankfully. Um, but yeah, let's unbox this. I'm just gonna get right into it. So I think for this figure series, there's only ones of Demon Slayer, Naruto, and um, Jujutsu Kaisen, which I have recently started and I absolutely love. These are the cushions that they come with. So this is Inosuke's and this is Zenitsu's. And um, they have their names and their patterns on them. Their names are right there. I don't know if you can actually see it. This is Inosuke's. Um, that's Zenitsu's. And then for the figures, these are absolutely so adorable. I am in love with these series. I really, I'm kind of like on the fence on whether I should get the rest of the characters and whether I should start collecting the Jujutsu Kaisen ones. I found a Gojo figure that I really love. It's just great. I'll put it here if I remember, but it, it looks so good. But I'm on the fence on whether I should get that either. But anyways, here is uh, Inosuke. I freaking love Inosuke. At first, when I started the series, I wasn't such a big fan of him. I, to be honest, which is weird, I guess I should have thought of this about Zanny too, but I thought Inosuke was the um, annoying one. But no, I freaking love him. I guess after the movie, I just I fell in love with him. So this is Inosuke. This is the packaging he comes in. And then, oh, you can see Tanjiro's and Nezuko's figure. This is my baby Zenitsu. He is such a crybaby. I love him so much. Ugh, sorry about the reflection, but hopefully you get the point. That's him. Okay, and then I'm gonna move you guys over here so I can unbox it and show you everything together. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this without having the camera fall because it's kind of balancing on my bed. But let's open up Inosuke first. We'll save my favorite character for last. <laughs> God, he is so cute. Oh my god, he is so cute. You guys, I absolutely love, first of all, the hair is just so cute. I love the gradient that's going on here. He's got a flat bottom so he can balance on the table or wherever you put him. I am in love with the eyes that they did. This is the joint on his neck so you can make him look up or look straight or look wherever really. I know for the Jujutsu Kaisen one, Gojo has another head for when he takes off his blindfold so I guess these are removable but since there isn't um another head for Inosuke or Zenitsu, I am not going to even attempt to pull his head off, but the mold is absolutely great. These are really adorable. So let's let him sit on his cushion while he looks up. Oh, I don't think he's gonna balance on my bed, but, but he can look down, I guess. Okay, <laughs> all right, so uh, let's do Tanjiro, or I don't know why I keep saying his name wrong. I'm like the mom that doesn't know their kid's name. 
Okay, so let's go with Zenitsu next. We'll put his little cushion there. Here he is. Oh, well, that's not good. You got a balance, buddy? Okay, there you go. So much better. Okay, so we'll just put his cushion here too. Here is my boy. I love him so much. I was kind of upset that he didn't get as much screen time as I feel like he deserved uh, in the movie, but I know he'll he'll get his moment to shine soon. But um, yeah, here is Zany too. Let's get him open. Okay, look, oh my god. Oh, see, even my camera's falling because I can't believe how cute he is. All right, here is my child, Zanitsu. Absolutely adorable. I honestly bought this set mostly because of Zanitsu, but I am so happy with both of them. Um, I feel like since, well, let's, let's take a look at this first, then we'll talk about what I feel. Here we are with the great gradient going on with his outfit. Love the hair mold. Absolutely stunning. They nailed it with this. The, every, even the paint job is so smooth. His eyebrows, I freaking love his eyebrows so much. His hair, I love. Um, I heard somebody say that his hair looked like french fries and now I can't unsee it. So look at his cute, innocent look. I absolutely love it. I, I have nothing more to say than I can cry looking at him. Joint in his head moves perfectly. Not too hard to move around, but also not too loose, so that's good. We'll put him right here. Oh, 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 come on, buddy. All right, there you go. Okay, so I just want to say that I just noticed something about the boxes. Oh, well, I'll fix you later. Inosuke's box, right on the inside, I don't know if you can see that. You can see my reflection. Hi, guys. Um, But it says, always be with you, and I don't know. Oh, they're acorn pictures. Okay, so kind of just like in the movie. Um, Spoiler alert, but it's not that big of a spoiler alert, I don't think he was offering nezuko acorns in his dream i don't know if anybody remembers that but there is an acorn illustration there and it says always be with you i don't know i don't remember if that's what he said but if anybody knows if that has any significance to the show let me know oh well zenitsu's says the same thing but zenitsu's illustration has chuntaro which is his uh bird i feel like it's little details like these that even make the packaging so cute and just great in general and i mean i wouldn't have thrown away this box anyway but i feel like it gives even more of a reason why you should keep it because it has little cute subtle details like that okay so one thing i really wanted to mention is that if you look at gojo from jujutsu kaisen's look up figure i mentioned that he gets an extra head for when he's not wearing his blindfold i feel like they could have done that with inosuke with his boar head i'm not sure why they would have done it with gojo and not inosuke but either way this is absolutely adorable it's not that big of a deal even if he did have his boar head I personally would have left him without it because I think he looks so much cuter like this and I feel like it'd be such a waste not to display him with his beautiful eyes and his beautiful smile and everything but you know some people do want the boar head and I get it or some days they want it some days they don't so they could have switched off but this was the Zenitsu and Inosuke look up figures let me know if you guys have time or Nezuko or any of the other characters. Let me know what you guys think. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe. Follow me on social media. Everything's in the description box. I will see you next time, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye guys.